Yo guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 3 video, and yet again, we are on the Hot Wheels expansion, and today we are going to find that barn find. Today, we're going to find that barn find, upgrade it, and then do a race on it. I've literally done no Hot Wheels races. That's how much I've played this. Can't have a reason though, YouTube's been taking up a lot of time recently, that's why I've not played it, only for videos and stuff. I've been very busy with YouTube, but anyway, let's go, we're in the rip rod, like the starting off car you get, it's B-Class 700, not many people are really bothered about this now, seeing as though it's like the first car you drive and stuff, I, I've not really seen anyone make any videos on it, but I thought we'd use it and go and find a barn find, I don't even know if we're going the right way now actually, I think I should check the map, shouldn't I, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not driving all the way there, so I reckon we'll just, we'll just fast travel there, you know, easy fast travel. This rip rod is a really nice car though, not gonna lie, it's so cool. And I love the number plates they put in this game, in this expansion, it just makes it so much better. Makes more Hot Wheels -y. and there's a massive dinosaur right in front of us. I mean, look at this, this is so cool, what other car game has that? When can you drive under a dinosaur on some orange tracks? When can you do that? And when do you get speed boost like that? Mental stuff. So, I, I actually don't know where this bar find is at all. But I just know I love this expansion really, so that Range Rover going right up there, so I've not actually discovered any of these roads, I think. Right, we're in the actual area, we're in the purple area. I'm not, I'm guessing it's not going to be up high up, so we need to drop down to the lower tracks. Just find out how to do that, and it's probably going to be down there. Actually, we could just fall off here. We're just going to fall off, bail out, bail out, bail out, and yep, we landed. Sort of. So it's going to be somewhere along the grass, really, in the grass, in the trees, you get what I mean. You know, we can actually drive under the track here. It's very, very cool. And we're entering the purple zone right now, so it should we, sh we should be nearly seeing it. But I do remember the Storm Island barn find on the Forza Horizon 2 expansion. Storm Island was very, very good. I know that barn find for me was quite a struggle to find. It took me a while. It took me like 20 minutes to find. It's crazy, I couldn't find it at all. I think this one's going to be like it as well, I just can't seem to find it. It's been spotted, it's right there, right there, look, there's the bomb find. I'm actually going to go into the entrance sort of way to it, like from the front, so we can have a look what it looks like. And no, from some thumbnails on videos, they put the Hot Wheels logo over the door, so it makes it look like it is, but no, it just isn't. Okay, so it's doing a cinematic thing when you do find a barn find, the car pulling up, you know, standard stuff, those cinematics, and it is loading now. I just looked at my Elgato and it's kind of, like, delayed by a lot, but should be okay. And what is this? Oh, it's the Ford. I think it's a Ford Coupe something, I don't know. Basically, when you go into DLC cars, you can get it for free, so you can get two of these for free. So, yeah. And, yeah, it's looking a bit, it's looking a bit battered kind of thing. But it's going to be ours in a bit, and we can upgrade it and see what it's like, really. And it's going night time. Ford Deluxe 5 Window Coupe I'll is being restored. I didn't read the rest. But we've got an achievement for it. Collector's Edition, yeah, restored a barn find on Hot Wheels Islands. That is very, very good. So, guys, we're now going to upgrade this car. And on upgrades, it has a number 2. So that means there are two body kit presets. Yep, there's two body kit presets. What are these like? Basically a rip rod now. What is this? Just basically looks like the middle, the engine bits just been taken out really, and all that. But I'm I'm going with that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going with that. It looks mental. Buy for 59k. Okay, so that has taken it from D class all the way to A class, which is very very good. Now if we go to um, aero and appearance, I just want to take a look at a few things here. So, I'm actually going to add that on. It's now S1 class, which is kind of crazy. Um, actually, I'm going to put that on, actually. It actually looks really nice. What are we doing here with the bumper? I'm putting the stock rear bumper on. That looks quite cool, in my opinion, I think. Now, hmm, there's quite a lot of options you can do here, really. But I'm going to... I'm going to go with that. It just looks weird and cool. I like it. Now for engine conversion, it's got a 5.2 litre V8 in it from the body kit upgrade and stuff. And what we're we doing here, we're going to put it to all wheel. And then we're going to, yeah, we're just going to put a twin turbo in there because 
just does look cool and yeah that's a body kit which is already on it just gonna change the rims because i don't really like the current ones on it and yeah i'm i'm just going with them they look so cool on it as well but i'm gonna change the color of the car so it looks a bit more better bit more better does that make sense though oh i'm actually terrible at english now designs and paints i'm gonna actually search for denied okay guess i'm gonna have to paint the car myself as the servers are not working as soon as i want to make a video the servers don't work just brilliant, but look at these manufacturer colours. Look what we have here. We've got some. I'm feeling a bright yellow. Uh, that actually looks so cool. It looks so cool. That that yellow. Oh dear, that looks crazy. Now, we, what what does it? It doesn't paint anything because the hood's not even there. The bonnet's not even there, so it doesn't paint anything. What about wing mirrors? It can't be painted. It doesn't have a wing, or it cannot be painted. What about the rims? Do white rims look alright on it? I'm going to keep it black, I'm keeping it black, I'm keeping it black. Tints, yeah, might as well tint it. There we go, we've designed our livery for our car. I don't know what to call this car anymore. Look at this, I can't even go in the auction house because the servers aren't working. Well done, Forza. I, like, I recorded the first part of this video under a week ago. It was like five days ago now, the bit where I found the car and all that. And when I found it, I ended the video there was planning to record it the next day but no it's just just five days later okay so this is actually pretty fast should, should we call it a drag car should we call it a drag car i don't know it's pretty fast right now it looks very very cool as well i i, I did mean to turn down game sound on the Elgato before I started recording this and I've just forgot so for the next video it'll be a bit quieter it's because I was I had it off for a while for some reason I made a video where I didn't want game sound because of copyright issues but then I've done that video and it's all fine now and then I just forgot to turn it back on on the Elgato so a few videos have had no game sound which I don't know why you would watch that, these videos if they have no game sound like if Black Panther uploaded a video about game sound or AR12 or I don't know. Don't know what I'm talking about right now. We're going to take a right up here so we can, can go on to some cool loops and jumps and everything. Now, after this video, I'm going to probably record a video on the Zenvo ST1 that came out in this Hot Wheels expansion. Because that car is literally, it looks amazing and I've not driven it yet. Okay, we're falling off, falling off now. We corrected it, I've recorrected it, it's alright. That was close to falling. Go get a speed boost up here now. Ooh, what are you doing? He got in my way. Oh, drive towards in a way. Thank God the barrier saved us there. Oh, I'm going to go up that loop the loop right there. Looks so cool. Move, Aston. Aston Martin's in the way. Is this even the way to the loop the loop? Oh my God, it's 190 miles an hour right now, this thing. And there's a free wheeler there. What are you doing? And we've crashed. We have crashed it off. And now I can't get back on. Brilliant! Why did I feel like I needed to extend that brilliant? Okay, so there's a mad loop de loop right there. So if we spawn here, fast travel there even, and spawn there, we're going to get a lot of speed to go up the loop de loop, which is going to be pretty fun. Here we go. I wish it wasn't raining. We need to turn around. Turning circle, pretty decent on this car. What is it again? It's a 1932 Ford Deluxe 5 window coupe. Does it have 5 windows? I'm counting this. I am counting if it has 5 windows. Okay, so we've got one at the back. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, it does have 5 windows. And then four and five. The windscreen probably doesn't count as a window. It counts as a windscreen. Okay, so we're getting some mad speed now. This car actually does have windscreen wipers, which is pretty cool. I like how they come down like that. But they're better nowadays. And, oh, I can't see a thing. First person is scary for stuff like that. But we're going up the loop, the loop. It's all good. Look at the mini map change. That that's pretty cool, I guess. There's a bowler in front of us, and we're just gonna fly past him. We're flying past him. Oh, the turning there wasn't the best. It really wasn't. But you know, we're we're going on a mad jump right now. Yes, we've landed that. It's very hard to keep control in the rain. Can we just go around here without falling off or falling anywhere? I've hit something. I've hit the wall. 
It's so slippy. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this thing, lads. Look at this. Over a car. Over a car there. I only saw his, like, gamer tag, but we went over the car. So that's how I knew there was a car there. This is crazy. Oh, no, no, no. He went from, like, both sides there. Crazy dude. Now, is that is this a jump? No. It, oh, we're on, like, the high level now. Through the rainforest. The rain is still raining, like... Please stop. Oh, there's a loop the loop up here. There's another one, a blue one. What we've got? We've got an M4. And we've got a Corvette as well to join us on the loop the loop. But we've just passed them. We have passed them. Now we're going to go on this mad spirally thing, which looks very, very fun. Um, I remember, like, people were saying drifting's going to be so good for uh, on this Hot Wheels track. I've seen no one drift. I have literally seen no one drift. I don't really think people understand how like wide the tracks were. Even I didn't. But it's just hard to drift as well. It can be hard. Plus you've got all the um, driver tiles and that in your way. Oh look, there's a dinosaur. That's pretty cool that. So guys, this was a build on the brand new Hot Wheels expansion Barn Find. And it is pretty fun. And it looks cool. I like this car. I'm proud of this car. It looks very, very cool. So, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new around here for many Forza Horizon 3 videos. But until next time, peace out.